Governor Christie. There's been a lot of political rhetoric that some bank executives should have gone to jail for the 2008 financial crisis. But General Motors paid more than $1 billion in fines and settlements for its ignition switch defect. 124 people died as a result of these faulty switches. No one went to jail. As a former prosecutor, do you believe the people responsible for the switch and the cover-up belong behind bars? You bet they do. And if I were the prosecutor, that's exactly where they'd be. Uh, the, the fact is that this Justice Department under this president um, has been a political justice department. It's been a justice department that's decided that they want to pick who the winners and losers are. They like General Motors, so they give them a pass. They don't like somebody else like David Petraeus, they prosecute them and send a decorated general um, to disgrace. It's a political justice department. And Jim, you know full well that in the seven years I was U.S. attorney, we went after a pharmaceutical company. We went after companies that were ripping off shareholders. We went after companies that were doing things that were against law. And to expand on Mr. Carson's, or Dr. Carson's question, let's face it, we have laws already. We don't need nor laws. We don't need Hillary Clinton's price controls for, again, does anybody out there think that giving Washington, D.C. the opportunity to run the pharmaceutical industry is a good idea? And given how well they've done running the government. So what we do, though, is if there is somebody who's price gouging, we have laws for prosecutors to take that on. Let's let a justice department, I will make an attorney general, who will enforce the law and make justice more than just a word. It'll be a way of life. Thank you, Governor Christie.